Okay, so today we're just talking about uh, Christ lives to make intercession. I'm mentioning there that uh, the situation is that uh, Christ, uh, that's the purpose for his life. Uh, uh, the fact is that, uh, you know, the, the woman caught in the act of adultery, he, he basically said, He who has no sin, cast the first stone. Uh, also, too, the uh, parable of the Good Samaritan. You know, the, the situation there was that there was a guy that, uh, uh, you know, some people, they had great love for themselves, and, and they passed on when, when there was a man in distress. And, uh, but the Good Samaritan, he stopped, and he made intercession. So, uh, so what, do you, what do you think here? <clears throat> I think we see a lot of religious people, a lot of... Um people in the uh, echelons of their whatever you want to call it religion uh, uh, spiritism or whatever it is all I know is I don't need none of that I've seen someone that's not educated at all at all period no more than he who has went to Harvard it don't make no sense to me Someone doesn't need to know, or doesn't even need to read the Bible to know Jesus. You can feel that in your soul as soon as you smell the air, as soon as you feel the presence of Him surrounding you. And you can't deny that, because that'd be denying the Holy Spirit. And if you can't claim that, there's something wrong with you. Now what I'm saying is, is that uh, we don't need no no uh, education to get us to Jesus. All we need is just to fill His Spirit and accept His forgiveness and accept His blood and accept His 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 gift, which is eternal life. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Years later, years later, I've slipped. Excuse me. I continue to slip, and uh, just I'm not strong at all. He is strong. I'm weak. And there's nothing I can do about that. For a long time, I thought I was the strongest guy in the world. But in the end, I ended up just as weak as the baby that crawled out of that womb. But uh, there is faith in God, excuse me. There's, 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 I can't say faith. There's love there that uh, nothing can touch, nothing can pierce, nothing can harm, nothing can tamper with. I don't care if you're you're in the midst of, of a storm. That love is there and it'll calm everything down. Just have faith. Uh, You gotta keep pressing forward, pressing forward, pressing forward, pressing forward. <sighs> no matter how tough things get, and they've gotten pretty tough for me, um, the main thing is just to keep your drive, keep your intentions, keep your uh, uh, your spiritual gas tank on, on full, and you'll go places. Me, I've let my uh, my tank empty out one too many times. Now I'm finding myself in a position. Luckily, I have this brother here, Brother Matthew. And uh, it's, uh, it's really emotional for me. But um, with men, Nothing is possible, but with God, anything is possible. I will tell you, that is very true. You know, with uh, God, all things are possible. I mean, it's the case that we live in a fallen world, uh, and it is the case that sometimes, I mean, people, people they, they take education, and, and they take their own self-worth, and, and they... <coughs> They, you know, put so much value in that 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 they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't stop to to make intercession to to do those things which are the reason why Jesus lived. Sometimes they're not in Christ. 
I, I, I hate to say that. Now, you all know that uh, likely that I went to college for 20 years, but I'm going to tell you what, you know, that, that helps me maybe sometimes in jobs, sometimes it helps me, you know, in, in various ways, it helps me sometimes know how to help people. But it doesn't mean that, that, uh, that I should put my own self-worth above others. It, it doesn't mean that I should, that I should uh, uh, value uh, myself over others. And I, I'll tell you what, I mean, there are times in my life when things haven't gone well either. And, uh, uh, you know, it's been the case it's been the case that uh, I've been very fortunate. I've been very, very fortunate. When I was younger, I I could barely read or write, and uh, I graduated high school with hardly the ability to read or write, and uh, I, I just barely got out of that. And uh, it was other people in my life that, that stepped in and uh, made intercession. There was a, a, a teacher at the college that that made tremendous uh, intercession there, and uh, really, really caused me to be able to, you know, uh, have the things I have today. And and that's that's what this is about, you know. If if uh, you're out there and uh, there's something that you can do for somebody else, do it. Exactly, exactly. Jump right to it. Exactly, and and you know, like uh, if they can. You know, if they can receive some sort of blessing from that, then, you know, that's maybe that's what you're there for. Hey, I may not have much, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll split my taco with you. <laughs> that's, that's you know, and, and I'll tell you what. Like, and I've done it before. We, we, we don't have, sometimes, sometimes there's some area in our life where we don't have something and, and we're missing something. And that's where if somebody comes in, you know, may, maybe you're single, maybe, maybe you've been single for 10 or 20 years. And, and maybe there's somebody out there for you that, that can come into your life and, and, and make things, make things, uh, joyous, stable. joyous, make, yeah, make things stable, make things, you know, Happy. Uh, make you complete, you know, uh, you can get married and have children and, and that's something that doesn't take money. Really, I mean, it's it's not about money. Um, you know, sometimes there are people out there that they need a friend. You know, uh, <coughs> you know sometimes there there are people out there that uh, you know they're so depressed and 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 they've lived that way for decades and and um, maybe maybe you're depressed and you you you're just to the point where you just want to end it all. And I'm telling you, don't do that. Uh, you know. Uh, I'll tell you what's important is that we love one another. Yeah. And yep. uh, and we love one another in Christ. Love kind of all. And uh, and that's that's why it's important that we make intercession for one another, that we we do what we can for one another. Um, you know, sometimes it is the case though uh, that there are people that they have a lot of self love for themselves. And you might pour more and more in, and and it may just develop to the point where they have just more and more self-love for themselves, and and they may never make intercession. And and that's that's a bad thing. That's a really bad thing. That's what we want to try to avoid. But I'll I'll tell you what, uh, you know, it, it's the case that um, it's just like with the burning bush. It was on fire, but it was not consumed. And and the very the very word of God was spoken from it, or through it, that uh, you know that's that's ideally how we should be. You know we should be uh, just like the Holy Mother of God, the God bearer. You know bringing forth Christ into the world. And um, and if all creation is like that, where it's it's giving of itself, sacrificing itself uh, for the glory of God, then then you know that's that would be creation that 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 ultimately is restored and and doesn't have 
doesn't have the the inclination to, to turn on itself and 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 to love itself instead of God, or to love to love creation instead of God. Uh, if you look at idolatry, for example, where idolatry is is all about loving loving creation and 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 um, and and turning away from God and uh, turning to creation. And, and loving it, and sometimes it could be a car, sometimes it could be money. It's you know, bigger. what? It's, it's what? Well, anyway, I want to tell you there. That's that's what I have to say today, and I I hope that uh, uh, you have a blessed day. God be praised. God bless.